me cheeseburger and uh, I've created a special jig called the cheeseburger jig this one here is the Bugs Island killer and uh, I've been asked to help you guys to learn what it is to jig fish how to do it you know the special things about it the first thing that's important with jig fishing is to tie it on properly and I use a polymer knot or a palomar and what you do is you run it through the eye once then you bring it back through then you bring it up like this bring it through cinch it down and then I keep a pair of dykes with me on the boat at all times and there you have it jig fishing is a little bit different than any other type of fishing that you'll do in that it requires a lot of patience and a lot of feel you have to really pay attention to what you're doing uh, what I like to do is to leave slack in my line and just sort of pop the jig and move it a little bit and a lot of times you won't even feel the bite you'll just lose contact with your jig and when you do it's time to set the hook if you cast that jig out and you're moving it it feels the same way every time that you do it when it starts feeling different normally that's a bass it's time to set the hook jigs will catch some of the biggest fish in the lake uh, it's known as a big fish bait this jig here is a cheeseburger jig it's made by hunter creek uh, bait company and uh, it's a it's a really good jig it's uh it's good for clear water it will work in stain water uh, it's a half ounce it's got a gamagatsu hook on it it's real sharp uh, one of the main things that you need to remember in jig fishing is that if that fish ever feels you on the other end of that rod he's going to spit it out immediately so you have to set the hook immediately when you get a bite. Well, I hope you have a good time jig fishing. Many happy bites. Cheeseburger. My name's uh, Steve Cheeseburger Roberts. We're at Smith Mountain Lake. Uh, I'm doing a little jig fishing. I want to show you guys how to do it. I want you to notice I'm throwing at a stump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it settle. Let it get down there real real gently and when it hits bottom look notice my line I don't know if you can see it or not but I've got slack in it at all times and I'm popping it what I'm doing is I'm just barely moving the jig now I'm gonna come up here and fish this dock right here this is what we call a floating dock what you want to do is skip that jig right up to it real quiet like and let it go down and then just sort of pop it and it's uh you have to really pay attention really watch your line that old bass will grab that jig sometimes and you won't know he's there We're going to go over here to this other dock with one of my favorite little docks. And I believe we'll get bit if we don't get bit on this one. All right, now watch this. I'm going to skip up under this dock here. And there should be a nice bass under there waiting. He's got it. Oh, I missed it. If jig fishing, a lot of times you miss them. They don't get it just right. There's some stumps and rocks out here. I 
I see a bass. I see a bass. I'm going to catch it. No, he kept swimming. Yeah. Here's a nice stump. Let's see if we can get a fish off of this stump. Notice I'm just popping it. I use a G Loomis rod and a real nice Tronoff MG50 reel. The whole outfit doesn't weigh hardly, doesn't even weigh a pound. Uh, we're gonna skip under this dock over here, and I should get this. Nice fish. About three pounds. You saw it. Just skipped up under that dock. And he ate the cheeseburger cheese. Thank you. Good girl.